So my Motorola Droid finally got Froyo 2.2, which is great, I can handle Flash. Unfortunately, Verizon saw fit not to include the new Flash update. Hooray! So I had to go dig around on the internet and find the Flash 10.1 APK file and install it manually on my Droid so that I actually get to enjoy the Flash update. Now that I've got it running, I thought I'd give you a quick demonstration of how it's turning out so far. Let's start with CNET since it's one of Adobe's flash optimized websites. Also we're taking a first look at Kaspersky Internet Security 2011. This year's update, not gigantic, but you know what? It's good solid security. All As you can see, up, there's a little bit of lag between the feedback of play and the actual play on the screen. And there's a little bit of stutter in the video. I'm David Katzmeyer, Senior Editor at CNET, and this is the uh, Vizio XVT3SV series. It's the 55-inch version right here. There's also a 47 and a 42 in the series. This review will apply to all the screen sizes. This is Vizio's flagship 2D TV. As you can see, the screen controls are a little bit hard to operate, but eventually they pop up. Also, notice the lag when I hit stop. It takes a little bit of time for the video to actually catch up. Homestar Runner is one of my favorite old school cartoon flash websites, so let's give that a try on the Motorola Droid. It seems like the flash player works a lot better on this less graphically intense flash website. If you look up in the top corner, I've got Wi-Fi enabled. That's why these are loading so fast. I don't think they load quite as fast over 3G. Dude. It's stuck on pay, and you can't stop me. When we join forces with the school of Bartone, I had to pay the doctor just to have this email removed. So smooth. Dear Strongman, I know you think being mean is fun, but I'm trying to teach my kids that that isn't right. Can you say something about being nice and point out why being mean isn't always the best choice? Thanks. Nice dad. Lastly, I thought I'd try YouTube, since Google has a hand in both. YouTube's website seems to load pretty slow, and the Flash content is kind of bulky. It seems to want to bring up the web browser option whenever you select a YouTube video. Once the video finally gets going, playback is very laggy. The audio seems okay, but the video is just not there. Here's a quick tutorial. Enjoy. I have a Roland foot switch plugged into my MPC-1000 for start and stop recording. I have my direct box plugged into the record in on my MPC-1000, and I have a The controls also don't seem to work very well. I think all in all, YouTube is kind of a fail in the Flash application. This is a little jingle I've been working on. All in all, not too bad of an update for your Motorola Droid. The Flash 10.1 seems to succeed in most aspects. It's a little rough when you're watching video playback, but a lot of the early and simple cartoon style Flash applications work pretty good. Uh, hopefully there's more updates in the pipeline and the Motorola Droid won't be forgotten. As always, thanks for watching. And if you like this content, please subscribe. Oh.